Hi, this is Alexander with another Lightroom video. And today I wanted to show how to create a local archive of your finalized or master images, whatever you want to call them, that is independent of Lightroom. One of the biggest beauties of Lightroom for me is that it is a non-destructive photo editor. You see that my files here are mostly raw files and those take very little disk space. And then all the develop that I do is in Lightroom and Lightroom has these finalized images. That is, of course, a little bit of a concern because you need Lightroom as the interpreter to render those final files, which is why some people like to have an archive of their finalized images that is outside of Lightroom and independent of it. Lightroom can help with the creation and maintenance of such an archive, and that is done with a publish collection. Publish collections are created with publish services. You see, I have a number of them here. And the publish service that we're using to create a local archive is, of course, the one that uses a hard drive as its destination and not an online service like those down here. I begin by clicking on the plus symbol here and choosing go to publish manager from the pop up menu. This dialog box looks very similar to the export dialog, except that instead of export presets here, I have the available publish services here. I will click on add to create a new publish service. I choose the service hard drive here instead of any of these online services that I have installed via plugins. And I simply call this photo archive and I click on create. And now I have a new publish service that Lightroom tells me is not saved yet. So I want to review those settings here before I save the publish service because some of those cannot be changed after the fact once the publish service is created. So obviously the name is photo archive, that's okay. The export location is very important. I want to export my files to a specific folder. I click on choose and then select my external hard drive here. This is where I want the photo archive to go. And I choose a subfolder that I call photo archive. Next up, file naming. I don't want to change the file names at all. I want them to match what I have internally in Lightroom. I will not export video files because my photo archive does not contain videos. The file settings are a very important section here. Obviously, we don't want to create an archive with JPEG files that have a lossy compression and only eight bits per channel. Instead, we're using TIFF and we choose Profoto RGB as our color space. TIFF is a lossless format, so the files will be much, much bigger. Profoto RGB is a color space with the widest gamut so that we can preserve the maximum of the color nuances in our files. Compression is optional. It's possible to choose zip here, which is a lossless compression, adds a couple of CPU cycles to the process and creates slightly smaller files. I leave that off here for the purpose of the demonstration. For the bit depth, we want to use 16 bits per component or channel. That's R, G or B, of course, as opposed to the eight bits that a JPEG file would have. And this is our file settings for maximum archival quality of the images. Image sizing, we don't need to touch any of that. We don't want to resize the images. We want to export full size files as they are. We don't want to apply any sharpening either because that would alter our image data. In the metadata panel for true archiving, we want to include all the metadata that we have and not remove anything from it so that we really preserve the maximum amount of image data that's available. Obviously, we don't want to put a watermarking overlay over our original image file. And that conclude, concludes the review of the settings. I hit save and here's my newly created published service hard drive. And you see that this folder that I specified photo archive appears right here now. Now I could manually drag and drop files into this folder and that way populate this archive folder. But 
that's not the most elegant way to do. I'd like to get help from Lightroom um, to aid me in that process of populating this archive. How do I do that? I create a smart published folder. Published smart folder is how it's labeled here. Clicking on that brings up the dialog box that is exactly the same as the one for creating a smart collection that stays within Lightroom. So I can adjust the criteria here and I call this master files for now. And I want to include all files that have five stars and the blue color label. That's just my way of determining the pictures that are subjectively speaking my best ones of course and that I have published somewhere online already. So these are really in a state that I want to preserve. When I click on create here you see a new folder appears here master files and you can see it has that little gear symbol next to it indicating that it is a smart published folder and you see the content is 424 files which Lightroom tells me are new to publish now. So these are the files that will go into my archive. For the purpose of demonstration, that's a lot, of course. If I would click on publish here, Lightroom would begin churning and render 424 original files, which takes a certain amount of time. So for this purpose here, I'm going to reduce the selection by adding another criterion here. And I simply choose any searchable metadata contains chaparral to reduce the selection to these 12 photos here. Now, when I hit publish, Lightroom begins to render those files. You see the progress bar appears here at the top, updating published collections. When I right click this folder here, in this collection, sorry, in Lightroom here, and select go to published folder, Lightroom will open a finder or explorer window if you're on windows and will show us this folder master files and you can see here are the files as they arrive in that folder as lightroom renders them you see there's a temp file here where lightroom puts the files as it adds the metadata to them and then the finalized images are put in here i can wait for this process to finish we will take a couple more seconds and you see the temp folder disappears. It's all done now. And Lightroom has rendered these files. You can see that this is actually a considerable amount of data here. And these TIFF files do take a certain amount of space because they're 16-bit full resolution files um, that are uncompressed. So you want to take that into account for the hard drive space that you will require to create your archive. Of course, instead of just choosing a local drive here, I could choose an online service like Dropbox or Tresorid, iCloud Drive or a Google Drive um, to put those photos online and have an online backup of my originals as well. Now, the beauty of using these publish collections in Lightroom as opposed to manually exporting the files is that Lightroom tracks any changes to them. It doesn't matter if it is metadata like keywords, titles, captions, color labels, location information, or if it's actual develop settings. Say I find that this image after printing it turns out a little bit too dark and I go to my develop module and I want to adjust the shadows to make that foreground a little bit brighter. Now, if I go back to my library grid, you can see that Lightroom detects this change and puts that file at the top here, modified photos to republish. So Lightroom tells me you've done something to this image that is not yet reflected in this published folder here. In fact, when I open this published folder again, just to show this here, put it to the side and I click on publish and there it goes and disappears, of course. You can see based on the timestamp here that this file has just now been rendered 
again and it contains the edit that I just made, namely making that foreground a little bit lighter. This way you can keep the archive up to date easily and whenever you make changes, Lightroom will let you know that you need to republish your archive. And that's it. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment or go to my website and use the contact form and have a nice day. Bye.